So, landing the plane here, I'm not gonna go through this entire verse because that was plenty of for us to chew on. But this is where this is coming from in the Old Testament. Different words, same principle. And no man and no shall teach more every man because the mothers are gonna come that are gonna be teaching shepherds of the way of one. They are gonna present the vision of mother of the golden rule, Lamed. This is literally how you spell the symbol Lamed right here, and it means to instruct. So they are going to be coming, instructing the way of the living water teachings that are meant to go through the door of the inward man so that you can connect to the Father. And then we have the word Od or Ud. And this means uh, continuance. This is actually the root of even the witness and the testimony. To become a witness and a testimony. Perpetuity. To be bedecked and adorned. And notice the diamond on top of that. I know it's small. But that diamond is a representation of quadration. And we spoke of that last week. About what quadration <laughs> is a full-hearted one, and it also means, as a cantillation mark, a gift from God. So these teaching shepherds are going to come that are the witness and the testimony that are adorned and bedecked with perpetuity, meaning they are eternal beings, and they already know that they're eternal beings, and they are a gift of God. They are the living fire that has power that has been given to them in their inner man. And this word, by the way, this word man, it actually comes from anash, meaning to be weak and feeble, but the noon has been removed. And we just talked about that regarding the nephal, nephilim, the a, the olive pay, lamed olive. This is a man who is totally spiritual in nature, not pertaining to the flesh anymore. This is a burning man that has been given power within the center of their being. How'd they do it? Through the olive top. And this word right here, this also means friendship, neighbor, and shepherd. Ra'ehu. So they've risen to be first fruit leaders. They have the ability to see. They have the fountain of living waters within. And they are coming as a friend and a shepherd to bring the revelation of the Father so you can connect to him. So that every man can become a burning man, a fire man too, through the olive top. All of us, brothers and sisters, that have the power of the right hand, that give love extravagantly, that are all connected to the Father. And they will be the teaching shepherds that are saying, declaring, the way of mother is the way to raise yourself up so you can become a first fruit. Learn the golden rule first. It will be bitter to you. It will be bitter to you, Mar. I didn't mean to pop over there. It will be bitter to you at first. But this is so that you can know, there's that word, da'a again, so that you can know what you need to know by going through the door, finding the fountain of living waters within, so that you can see and know the purpose, and be able to connect to Father. How? Through the olive toff, through the 22 letters, through the teaching principle of mother and father, yod heh vav -he. yod -he, mother, father, of hey. And I'm only, I'm going to, I'm going to do four more words and I'm not going any further because I need to land the plane. This, this is a lot that we covered here, but I have something else that I need to share with you guys to land it. So we have the word key. This is the Kof Yod. These are the two hands of power. One closes and one opens. One grasps, one gives. 
and the cough is spelled cough pay so this is to the language so this individual has grasped a hold of the language that reveals and they're completely filled up and been pierced by it hence why the Dagesh is in there they give love extravagantly they have the power of the right hand all of them so remember we were looking at that other verse before about the kala and the kal that they are all the bride the entirety of the whole well this shows how to complete it because now they it's cool their heart has been pierced completely pierced and full this lament is two lameds that have become one and you can see that down in the tr in the pronunciation of it it's called a strong dagesh it means it's doubled so the two twin teachers of light have now become one so this is one who has married divine masculine and divine feminine into one now they are of the waters that are set above they have completed that's why they know and they give the vision of mother they give extravagantly to others so that they can know what the golden rule is so that eventually they too can connect to father and here we have ot and this word ot this means a sign signal beacon pillar miracle one who has gone through the olive top that is completely full their heart has been made full they are completely transformed miraculously as a sign and a beacon to others to give what to give the vision of hope of unconditional love to other people so this transformation of them being a miracle is so that they can be a beacon to others so that as they are a beacon they are showing that there is a better way a powerful vision that is meant to be given mm. to others to give them hope that there is something more and why they can speak it with authority because they've become it and they are giving this ability away to anybody else that would open their hand to receive it. The power of unconditional love. So this was not on my agenda to share today. Not was I what I was going to talk about. But I felt it was important that we needed to go here. For whatever reason, for today, this needed to be delivered. Okay. And I'm going to land the plane with one thing. That, because this is actually how we ended last week. When I was sharing with you about the bride and the groom, so when they were translating the bridegroom, and I was saying the bomb was the fact that the word is groom, and then vav means and, so the groom and the bride the whole thing that i was sharing with you about in the verses that we were going over has to do with this whole process of being wed and becoming one and when it says that they go forth to meet the bridegroom it's this word right here Aleph Vav Resh is the word for light. This is Or. Yeah. So this is Leorra. Leorra. So you want to know what Aura is? That is the Hebrew word for Aura. Our Auras, what do they look like? Teaching shepherds of light that are going to be coming as light that will be seen in their aura and the root of this word is olive resh ein they've activated their heart 
it's been pierced. They're connected to it. Their aura is going to be completely lit up as one who is of the light. And they go to meet the groom and the bride, those who have already completed. This is the first fruits of the first fruits who have already become messengers of the light. They are of the light and they are coming as companions and friends, as shepherds to bring this message. And they are coming to those who have not done it as of yet. Those would be known as the wise and the foolish because they aren't married yet, but these are. And that's why I wanted to connect that verse with you guys, that all is the bride. They just don't know it yet. Because if we can get that message across to other people, it will give them hope. Yeah. You aren't counted out. You aren't discarded. You matter. Everyone matters. It's the word all. So those who are the first fruits of the first fruits are bringing this message so that everyone knows that they matter. They just need to be revealed this message so that they know. This is what gives them a hope and gives them a future. And there's many that need to know this right now. That's that's amazing. I don't know what to say. We have to give people a hope and a future. Because the English narrative sounds bleak and it sounds horrible. And that is not what was written to us. So if there's anything that Ken and I can do for the world in our little YouTube channel is to bring hope and restoration. A place where people can come to see the light and to begin to see who they are and know who they are so they can rise into it 